doctors? Today I'm diving into something that's crucial for your medical knowledge. BRCA1 and BRCA2 gene mutations. These are tumor markers you absolutely need to understand. First off, let's get the basics down. BRCA1 and BRCA2 are genes that produce proteins responsible for repairing damaged DNA. Think of them as the guardians of your genetic information. When these genes are functioning correctly, they help prevent cancer by keeping your cells DNA stable. But what happens when these genes mutate? Well, mutations in BRCA1 and BRCA2 can lead to a significantly higher risk of developing certain cancers, most notably breast and ovarian cancers. For instance, women with a BRCA1 mutation have up to a 72% risk of developing breast cancer by the age of 80. Scary, huh? Now, why are these markers so important? As medical students, you need to know that identifying these mutations can help in early detection and preventive measures. Patients with a family history of breast or ovarian cancer may undergo genetic testing to see if they carry these mutations. Early detection can lead to more effective management and treatment options. So, how do we test for BRCA1 and BRCA2 mutations? It's quite simple. Usually a blood test or a saliva sample is all that's needed. The samples are then analyzed to check for any mutations in the BRCA genes. If a mutation is found, genetic counseling is often recommended to discuss the next steps. What about treatment options for those who test positive? Well, there are several pathways. Some may opt for increased surveillance, including more frequent mammograms and MRI scans. Others might choose preventive surgeries like mastectomy or oophorectomy to reduce the risk of cancer. Additionally, targeted therapies such as PARP inhibitors have shown promise in treating cancers associated with BRCA mutations. But it's not just about the patients. As future doctors, understanding BRCA1 and BRCA2 can also impact your research and clinical practices. These genes are not just limited to breast and ovarian cancers, they can also play a role in prostate and pancreatic cancers. The more we understand about these tumor markers, the better equipped we'll be to tackle cancer from multiple fronts. Alright, let's wrap this up. BRCA1 and BRCA2 are more than just letters and numbers, they're vital pieces of the cancer puzzle. Knowing about these genes, how they function and what happens when they mutate is crucial for any aspiring medical professional. So, next time you're in class or in the clinic, remember the importance of these tumor markers. Thanks for tuning in and keep those minds sharp. Until next time, stay curious and keep learning. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. And remember to click the notification bell to know when future videos are released.